that's right, YouTube. Wendell Lee Well Services back at you again. Um, got another topic that comes up a lot. Homeowners ask me about a lot, and uh, that's you know the installation of check valves and what's their purpose and what are they. Um, so kind of kind of go over that with you today and how how important they actually are uh, for well pumps. Um, so you know our uh, preferred check valve of choice is the brand made by Simmons. Um, Simmons does make a brass and stainless steel version. Uh, we tend to prefer the stainless steel version. Um, you get you get in some uh, locations where the well water can be, you know, it can have a low pH. Uh, we've seen it actually uh, eat through the brass here, uh, you know, quickly. Um, putting little pinholes in it and cause you to have a low pressure in your well. Um, so we kind of switched over the years from brass to stainless steel. Um, but uh, needless to say, um, you know, they make check valves in all sizes. Um, but this particular version is a size that's, uh, you know, got an inch and a quarter discharge. Um, male fitting on the bottom, a one inch uh, female fitting on the top. Um, so if you, if you picture this check valve and beneath it would be your well pump. Um, that's the best place to put a check valve. Uh, you know, this is going to prevent it. Uh, if, you, if you didn't have a check valve in here, um, basically what a check valve is, and I can kind of show it to you here, but there's a little spring with a nut on this side. Obviously, they are dependent upon flow, so there's an arrow on it telling you which way the flow has to go. All right. The upstream side looks like this. All right, and I'm going to mash my finger. When water comes in, the little uh, valve goes open, and when, when the pump puts pumping water, that goes back down. So you can hear it. Hear that little noise there. It's got a spring in there that pulls this back down. Um, if this weren't here, every time your pump would cut off, water would rush back down in the pipes, um, causing you to have water hammer, um, as well as uh, you know putting your pump into a, a up through a situation. Uh, meaning water rushing back in on top of your impellers and of your pump, which can cause dam which can cause uh, damage and premature fa failure to it quickly. So, you know, again, we always uh, most pumps have a check valve in them, um, but you know, depending on the manufacturer, they don't tend to be as of high quality as these Simmons ones are. Uh, you know, sometimes you can get a little rock in your. Uh, pump and it can actually hang the check valve up that comes with your pump in keep it from working So we always like to install one of these on top of the pump as well as putting one uh, About every three or four hundred feet in line with it um, that way if this one fails uh, You got to back up in line so it doesn't ruin your pump So uh, that's all there is about check valves um, Got to have them uh, If you didn't have them uh, you, not only would you cause premature failure to your pump, but your pump would be coming on uh, every time it cut off because water would just be going right back down where it just came back up from. Uh, how do you like that analogy? Um, just came up with that one, but that's pretty much how they go. You got to have them. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. Uh, feel free to leave us comments. Check us out at WendellyWellServices.com or our store, WendellyWellServices.com forward slash shop. Thanks for watching.